but I will ask Bergov to introduce that because he's better at that. Thank you. Jeshi Mataji, everyone. Good evening. It's a very um, special feeling to be back in Cabela after three years. Um, and I mean, just coming here, um, it, it's unbelievable to think that I'm outside Australia after all those lockdown lockdowns. Um, yeah, with a lot of friends from Australia. So, yeah. And before I introduce the next um, artist, I just wanted to share a little bit of what some of my thoughts were on the way here and, you know, getting excited about being back in Cabela. I was thinking about these these musical evenings that we have, and I was thinking about how how rare it is, this experience that we have, that not really, I don't even know if any other people experience this outside of Sahaja Yoga. And, you know, it made me think about how we can all sit in this room, uh, you know, 400, 500 yogis, sometimes in the thousands, and then watch a performance of a high level of talented performers who are just members of our own family. And it's such a unique perspective that came to me. Maybe it's obvious, maybe everyone already knows this, but I don't know, the thought occurred to me on the way here and I thought I'd just share. Um, anyway, I have the privilege of introducing two of my little brothers one who's littler than the other. Um, and they're both from the Melbourne Collective of Australia. <laughs> I might be biased because I'm from Melbourne as well, but I'll first introduce the tabla player. Um, his name is Sahil Zagade. He's only 19 years old, I think, 19 or 20, something along that range. I don't want to say the exact age because then it makes me look a lot older. <laughs> um, and he's an exceptional, exceptional tabla player who has come you know, a long way in a very short time and to encourage more yuvas like himself, we've invited him as the invited artist for this year's Ganesha Puja. He's a student of a local tabla player in Melbourne, Mr. J. Dubgar, and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy some of his various colors he's going to present on the tabla. And then on the main melodic instrument, on the sitar, we have Sahaj Williams. Sahaj is, I mean, um, many people would know, is a multi-talented instrumentalist who plays a variety of instruments. But over the last few years, he's persevered to push through on one instrument with the sitar, which is, you know, a really demanding instrument, both physically and mentally. Um, he's been receiving his guidance from Pandit Sugato Nag, who is a very, very, very prominent sitar player of our age. He, I think, you know, as an older brother, when you look at some of the younger brothers and sisters grow up like this and they, you know, excel at something, it makes us very, very, I mean, it makes me very, 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 very proud. And um, I'm proud to introduce both of them. And I'll let Sahaj and Sahil introduce their, what they're going to play. Deshi Mataji. Hello. All right. Thanks, Bhargav, for that. Um, I'd just like to expand a little bit more on what Bhargav was saying. So 
Um, we're, we've been extremely fortunate, thanks to Mother, uh, in Melbourne with a very talented base of classical musicians, and that's all come from uh, Uncle Nick Buff, who is um, everyone, all of our original teacher. And uh, the credit goes to him. He performed in front of Shumanji multiple times and was uh, extremely influential for, for all of us. And I think the, the most important thing, or the most important thing that I feel is that everyone should um, learn to love Indian classical music, not just for meditation music, but for the, for the purity of the art itself. Sorry, that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> um, anyway, on to the evening. Um, so Sahil and I will be playing Rag Gaunsi Kanada. Uh, it's a beautiful evening melody, and it's a combination of two different rags. So Gaunsi, which is derived from Malkans, and Kanada, which is Darbari Kanada. So the Aroha, so the ascending, is Malkans, and the descending is Darbari Kanada. Uh, yeah, it's a it's an extremely beautiful rag, and uh, it's it's really helped me in just my personal life and um, dealing through very difficult things. So it's it's been it's very significant for me. Uh, we'll be playing three compositions. So the first one will be in Tal Rupak, which is a seven beat time. The sorry, the second one will be in Tintal. And the third one will be in Drut Tintal. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have my younger brother Sahil playing tabla with us, and very very happy that he could come. <laughs> and yeah, I just have to say that it's uh, it's such a relief to be able to come to Cabela and to be able to you know spend time with everyone and just be reminded that it doesn't matter what country you're from, we're all the same and. It's uh, yeah, it's just such a relief. I've got no words to explain it. Thank you. <laughs> Please excuse any mistakes that we may have made. But thank you. Thank you. 
I just thought this is worth explaining because when you start to understand what's happening, it, it becomes interesting when you can follow along. So, Abhishek Borka, who's a brilliant solo player who I'm also currently learning from, he um, told me this thing called chan. So basically, it's a pattern. And how it works is you fit a number of beats into the pattern within the, the time cycle. So we've got Khan. So we've got Khanda Jati and Mishra Jati. So Khanda Jati is five beats within one. So oh, it's hard to explain, sorry. <laughs> so it's essentially Khanda Jati means five and Mishra Jati means seven. So I'll start with Khanda Jati and then expand on Mishra Jati. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens.
Thank you. Thank you again. Annabelle. So, you know what? I really felt like this performance was, you know, what the evening program is just all about. You know, Sahaj came to the stage, he performed, he offered actually this performance to Mother, it was uh, Indian classical music and vibrations were there and I think it was just what the evening program is all about. And so, yes, for the next performance, to be honest, I mean, it's another classical music and I don't know what about you, Rita, but I'm not really qualified to proper I don't know, introduce the next item. And it's gonna be another classical. And by Bar Gav, I don't know if he's ready actually. But we might have to wait for a few more minutes. <laughs> no. Um actually I would like to um yeah, speak a little about Saj schools. Like they said yesterday, they always need volunteers. And if you're here watching or sitting and watching, and you're thinking about going to one of the schools, and you're like, I just need a sign, you know, I need a sign that should I go to Saj schools to work? You know, should I go to Kabbalah, Borotain, or Davy School? Well, this is your sign. So please, please. Give some time to such schools. I'll pass it back to Lily. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think this was a sign, of course. <laughs> you know, as you can see, we don't really prepare so much before the. Bef Maybe for tomorrow we might prepare something. We have some moments like this before it gets like weird. But yeah, so I don't know how much does it take. <laughs> <laughs> 30 more seconds that's fine that's fine maybe maybe we can play that game speaking of numbers where we count to 10 is that even possible with such a big crowd but basically we collectively count to 10 without repeating the number so somebody starts with one and somebody says louder I'll start. One. 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 Oh, come on. We got to five. Oh, one. One, two, three. We're ready. Mataji. I think it's really difficult to follow up after a very scintillating performance like that. So I'm still trying to find my inspiration, but it'll come, <laughs> I'm sure. So this is just so we can hear a little bit more of Sahil. Um, I'll play a little short um, piece in Rag Yaman, uh, set to Teen Tal, and then followed by some Bhairavi in, in a more light classical format. Thank you.
I just uh, forgot to mention one thing. Sorry. I just forgot to mention one thing. Um, I learned this music by the grace of Shumataji from the guidance of my guru, Pandit Prabhakar Dakri. And um, this next little piece I'm playing in Rag Bhairavi was, you know, anything that sounds good in this next piece would be straight from his hands. So, Jeshimataji. Thank <laughs> you. 
wish you all the best. So the next year you will be there relaxed and watch the other, the other one get in, in the Maya. Jeshi Maharaj. So.
Please don't be shy to dance.